Hello everyone and welcome. Casey here with Modern Witch Doctor. So tonight we're gonna do a little bit of wild cooking. So tonight's video is actually going to be based on a diet that I had done back in the beginning of the summer. So I had decided that I wanted to do a 100% wild diet. So what this incorporated was meats that could be hunted or raised, so things such as quail and venison, foods that could be grown or foraged, so of course all your garden vegetables, but also all your foraging plants, and then things that could be traded and bartered. So things such as butters and cheeses. Um, and I have a lot of farmers in my region where I'm at. Now I made it 28 days doing this diet and I was extremely creative with the things I would come up with to do with these wild edibles. So tonight I wanna to show you guys how to make a completely wild dinner using some forage wild edibles and some venison steak. So one of the most important foraging foods that I need to collect today is our spices. So behind me is an Eastern Juniper and I've done a couple little clips about this plant in some recent videos, um, mainly because the berries are fruiting and turning blue and the perfect time for harvesting. But these are an amazing um, medicinal plant. Juniper tea can help a lot of things. It's a diuretic so it is able to flush the system. Um, and this has also been a long revered special plant here in the Americas and the berries have long been used as a spice. So what we usually do is take the berries and dry them, occasionally use them fresh, which I will probably be doing today, and um, basically just smash them up to create a spice for meats and fish. So today I'm gonna harvest some of these to complement my venison steaks that we're gonna have for dinner. So another interesting fact about the uh, juniper tree, which usually it was the western juniper that was used for this purpose, but these little berries, once they fall off the tree, they are eaten by ants. The ants actually go inside and will eat the center of the berry and leave a dried natural seed bead. So these are what became the um, ghost beads, the Nav Navajo ghost beads, um, which are sacred earthly beads and um, have been used for protection and so forth for a long time. So it's a really, really sacred tree. So the next plant, once again, I just did a fall foraging video on this plant. So this is the burdock plant and you can see it's an extremely large plant. But as I said in that video, this is um, an extremely medicinal plant, nutritious plant, and something that's been used in Asian cuisine um, for thousands of years. So I'm gonna dig up one of the roots today, which is the part of the plant that we eat. And I will incorporate this being creative into my meal this evening. Well, I didn't manage to get the whole root, but that's good enough. Enough nutrition for tonight. All right, guys, so now we have the persimmons tree again. And as you can see, this tree is just full of extremely ripe persimmons and the leaves are falling off. So it's extremely easy to see all of them. So I'm gonna harvest a bunch of these really ripe ones and once again, get creative with something this evening with our venison. So now I always talk about the wild grapes and I know a lot of people are like, well, what the hell do we do with them? 
So today I'm gonna harvest a few of these wild grapes and then finally show you guys at least one dish that you can do with them. It's very quiet this evening. I'm getting ready to make a makeshift primitive grill, a bushcrafting grill. And I'm just trying to get this done before the storm looks like it's gonna roll in. looking for some green saplings to kind of make my uh, makeshift primitive grill and um, I found this black hole verbenum. Now as you can see this is in the verbenum family so it really does resemble arrowwood verbenum where the trunk grows nice and straight. So this is going to be a really really good addition to my primitive grill. I need a lot of uh, straight pieces and this is something that bamboo would actually be wonderful for. Um, but fortunately for this 200-acre uh, property, there is no bamboo. And I say that because it's invasive. So I'm going to go ahead and harvest some of this and continue to get my supplies to make this grill. So here's my nice venison steaks that I'm gonna make for dinner. And the first thing I'm gonna do is take my juniper berries. Um, and I also have some dried cedar berries, uh, Eastern red cedar from my own tree at home. And then I have some dried spice bush berries, which are very similar to allspice. And I'm basically gonna muddle these up for our seasoning for our steak. Now wild grapes are extremely tart, but they have a really nice sweet flavor and I think it's gonna flavor up these steaks quite nicely. Kind of like a grape marinade here.
so now I'm going to cut up this burdock root, which I'm kind of going to um, saute with my persimmons. And I'm just going to kind of gently get the top layer of skin off or the uh, covering of the root, you know, the tough skin. And the root is a beautiful white. And these are extremely tasty, by the way. So not only is this plant um, extremely good for you, it's delicious, which is kind of funny when it comes to certain wild edibles, especially roots. So now I'm going to take my muddler again, and I have these wonderful ripe uh, persimmons that I'm going to use. So I'm going to open these up and get the seeds out. It is up to you if you want to remove the skins. Um, I'm just going to go ahead and leave the skin on, actually. But we're just going to get these tiny seeds out. I did cheat a little and bring some raw honey from my house. However, this is from my own bees that I collected this spring. So I hope you guys enjoyed this video. Obviously it goes to show that you can be extremely creative with wild edibles and obviously extremely creative in the bush. Um, a lot of this stuff can be made while camping. Now, I know everybody's not probably carrying deer steaks with them, but I did this to show a source of pro protein or a source of wild meat. So this could be the same thing done with something such as fish or quail or pheasant um, and obviously venison. So I hope you guys enjoyed this video. Get outside as always and stay wild.